welcome we will start with some basic questions and then go in detail first question what is ICH Q8 R2 guideline and why it is important the ICH Q8 is a guideline for pharmaceutical development focused on building quality into products from the start that is quality by design it helps to ensure drug safety efficacy and efficient development basic and important what is quality as per ICH Q8 R2 Quality is nothing but suitability of either a drug substance or drug product for intended use. This term includes attributes such as identity, strength and purity. Important one, what is quality by design as per ICH Q8 R2? Quality by design as per ICH Q8 R2 is a systematic approach to development that begins with predefined objectives and emphasizes product and process understanding and process control based on sound science and quality risk management. What are the key principles of quality by design as per ICH Q8 R2? Four key principles of quality by design as per ICH Q8 R2 are first predefined objectives, second product and process understanding, third process control and fourth sound science and risk management. What are the five steps for QBD that is quality by design as per ICH guideline? The QBD process typically involves the following steps. First, defining the quality target product profile. Step two, identifying critical quality attributes that is CQAs. Step three, identifying critical process parameters that is CPPs. Step four, designing the design space. And step five, control strategy implementation. What is CPP that is critical process parameter as per ICH Q8 R2? CPP is a process parameter whose variability has an impact on a critical quality attribute and therefore should be monitored or controlled to ensure the process produces the desired quality. What is CQA that is critical quality attribute as per ICH Q8 R2? CQA is a physical, chemical, biological or microbiological property or characteristic that should be within an appropriate limit range or distribution to ensure the desired product quality. What is the importance of risk management in ICH Q8 R2? Risk management is crucial or important in ICH Q8 R2 as it helps to identify, assess, and control potential risk to product quality throughout the product life cycle. What are the elements of pharmaceutical development as per ICH Q8 R2? Here are the four important elements of pharmaceutical development as per ICH Q8 R2. First, quality target product profile. Second, critical quality attributes. Third, risk assessment. And fourth, design space. What is continuous process verification as per ICH Q8 R2? Continuous process verification as per ICH Q8 R2 is an alternative approach to process validation in which manufacturing process performance is continuously monitored and evaluated. What is formal experimental design as per ICH Q8 R2? Formal experimental design as per ICH Q8 R2 is a structured organized method for determining the relationship between factors affecting a process and the output of that process. Formal experimental design is also known as design of experiments. How does risk assessment play a role in ICH Q8 R2? Risk assessment helps to identify potential risks to product quality and enables the development of control strategies to mitigate them. This one is more technical and important question what ICH Q8 R2 guide about overages in drug formulation. First, for justification, reasons for the overages must be explained. Second, quantity, the exact amount of overage should be specified. And third, documentation, information about the overages should be included in the batch formula. What ICH Q8 R2 guide about formulation development? For formulation process, describe the development steps from initial concept to final product including critical quality attributes. For components, justify the choice of drug substance excipients and container closure system based on their properties and compatibility. For manufacturing process, consider 
how the manufacturing process impacts formulation design for clinical formulations compare clinical and commercial formulations explaining any changes made for in vitro or in vivo correlation if established explain how it supports formulation development and dissolution testing for special design features justify any unique features of the product example tablet score overfill etc what ichq at r to guide about manufacturing process development for process selection choose a manufacturing process based on product attributes and available options ensure equipment suitability for process development conduct studies to improve the process establish control parameters and justify product specifications for sterile products select and justify sterilization methods for both product and packaging for process comparison compare clinical and commercial processes highlighting differences and their impact on product quality for process understanding develop measurement systems to monitor critical process parameters and improve process controls for process robustness assess the process's ability to consistently produce high quality product under varying conditions what ichq at r2 guide about microbiological attributes ichq at r2 guide about following microbiological attributes these are non sterile products preservatives sterile products and preservative efficacy what is process analytical technology that is pat as per ichq 8 r2 pat is a system for designing analyzing and controlling manufacturing through timely measurements of critical quality and performance attributes of raw and in process materials and processes with the goal of ensuring final product quality what is process robustness as per ichq 8 r2 process robustness is an ability of a process to tolerate variability of materials and changes of the process and equipment without negative impact on quality this one is very important question question is what is design space as per ichq qet r2 the design space is the multi dimensional combination of interaction of input variables that is material attributes and process parameters that have been demonstrated to provide assurance of quality working within the design space is not considered as a change movement out of the design space is considered to be a change and would normally initiate a regulatory post approval change process design space is proposed by the applicant and is subject to regulatory assessment and approval last and important question what is ctd and what are the key points on ichq 8 r2 relates to ctd ctd is the format used to submit drug applications to regulatory authorities key points on ichq 8 relates to ctd are ctd section p.2 quality risk management design space control strategy and drug substance impact this is the link to download ichq 8 r2 guideline you can get this guideline in description box and comment section don't forget to like comment and share subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry